Hey everybody, thanks for coming. Um, first time I get to talk to y'all. Uh, been a lot of behind the scenes, but uh, just painting and all that kind of jazz. But I've really enjoyed talking to everybody at conventions and, you know, taking DMs on Instagram and Twitter and all that jazz. And really kind of wanted to get out and just speak to you because it's so lonely when you're painting. <laughs> I actually paint a lot um, at uh, at Starbucks just because it makes you feel like you're surrounded by a lot of people, but you're not, and you're just kind of like, oh yay, like there's other people around, as opposed to just being in my room just painting for hours. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> community is key. Community is key. Um, speaking of hours, uh, this piece was roughly. 10 hours to do, um, just kind of, there's a lot of different changes that happened throughout the whole thing, so this was kind of very exploratory for me from the beginning, um, which is kind of why grayscale is fantastic for that. Um, you get to play around with just shapes and lighting, as opposed to getting into the delicious, juicy parts of color, um, which to a lot of people that I've been helping out and giving lessons to and stuff. Color is kind of like your dessert, essentially. We all want to jump there, but if you don't have the basics behind everything, the color is not going to look right. So you have to have the basic shapes, the cylinders, the spheres, the cubes. If they're not all co like correct, um, then yeah. Also, I would like to point this out <laughs> that I now realize that I completely forgot to put her tail back. <laughs> it was an artistic choice, what are you talking about? No, I totally decided not to have her tail. It was fine. It was so fine. If anyone <laughs> has no idea what I'm talking about, this is a Draenei from World of Warcraft. Um, I used to be such, such a, oh god, I think, let's see, Burning Crusade to Cataclysm, I was, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I was playing all the time, um, and I was doing raiding. I'm never really a PvP person, but I was always a he I'm a healer, so I was always getting destroyed. So anyway, back to painting. Um, so yeah, I, I've personally, as an artist, been trying to grow. Um, I was doing a little like um, challenge for myself to do a portrait every day uh, with a two hour limit. And I was showing them to my other illustrator friends and my goals and what I wanna do eventually, um, you know, or to do more fantasy art type things and, and uh, concept art and really just kind of exploring things. And um, yeah, and I was doing these portraits and my, my co one of my colleagues was like, listen, Lauren, we know you're good at faces. So why are you just doing what you're good at. I mean, that's like, I don't know how many people lift weights, but it's like skipping leg day. <laughs> it's skipping leg day. Do you even lift, bro? I'm sorry, that's such an old meme. It's such an old meme. Whatever, I'm old. I'm not old. I feel old. I'm not in college anymore. I feel old now. Um, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, so I kind of wanted to really force myself to kind of get better overall. Um, I had a lot of times where I was doing these studies of different faces. I think you can see it in, um, I think it's um, Art Challenge Day 4. Uh, you can see it in my channel, some of my, my other videos. Um, but I was using a reference for this like really beautiful green light on this face. And I kind of put everything on, um, let's see, Art, art Crit, Reddit, the Reddit, um, R, Art Crit, oh, that's a lot of R's. <laughs> Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, I put a lot out there to kind of like see, you know, other people's point of view on your work. Um, if you're not, if you can't, if you can't learn from critique, then you don't grow. Um, and that took a long time to learn. Oh my, that took a long time to learn. I was one of those artists that hid everything from everyone. And, you know, I had I do this exercise with myself where I let people look at my sketchbook and I try not to scream. 
Because she was just like, yeah, no, sure, just, sure, just look at my, look at my sketchbook. No, it's fine. It's fine. Everything is fine right now. That's great. Thanks. Um, but yeah, but the thing is, is about critique is you have to learn. No one's perfect. Everyone has something to work on. Um, I mean, even the masters were constantly educating themselves. Um, and if you're not learning in art, you're not creating. Um, so yeah, so I, anyway, I put things on art crit and, um, you know, I got a lot of great feedback. I got a lot of people that were like, your skills great. Um, but what's going on with the light? How is the light? Where's the light coming from? How is this light on her face? Um, a part of the environment they're like you've painted a beautiful face and you've given a nice background But where is the context all of it? And of course that moment you're like well, there is no context I'm just learning how to do a face just back off, dude. Me. And then you're like, oh wait. Oh, no, I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to get better. Oh, okay I'm sorry. Thanks. Thank you for your thank you for your critique. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks um, <laughs> But yeah I, this is like literally who I am. I'm like in between like, oh, oh, thanks, oh, thanks, and like, what are you talking about? No! <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, so that's kind of what this is, um, is me kind of trying to get better overall, um, which is where grayscale comes in. Um, and it kind of allows for you to play with things without having to worry about the color. I mean, like, I'm keeping in mind this entire time that my color palette, one of the first things that I pick with a painting is the color palette. What do I want it to be? What do I want my main, like, my pop to be? What do I want, like, the whole other part of it to be? Um, and that's kind of what I was going with with this. I do feel like I lost a little bit of it, um, but, you know, you learn. And one of those things is, like, you have to finish a piece to learn. Um, you can't just do what I was doing for most of my career, which was, uh, career, look at me, um, <laughs> um, was just, I was doing a piece, I would get frustrated, and I would just run away from it. And there were a couple pieces that I did that were like this. I had, oh, what, when Legion came out? When did Legion come out, in August? 2016 or was it September anyway whatever um, late 2016 I was just like living the Legion launch and um, I wanted to do a Tyrande and a Sylvanas and I was just like yes I'm gonna paint them yes and then I did and then I realized I had no idea how to paint <laughs> And I had no idea how to do color. I didn't ha know how to do any of it. I was just like, oh God, what have I done? What have I done? Um, and I didn't know that at the time though. At the time, I was, I, I was just so frustrated that I just stopped. I just stopped and I walked away from it. And I, looking back at them now, what I was doing was I wasn't using a color palette. I was literally, taking a bunch of different pictures and color picking from a bunch of different pictures. I was painting like, I wasn't painting. I was basically, uh, <laughs> I was just color picking and like putting a red here and a green here. Cause that's red and that's green. What are you talking about? Like, yeah. So, um, so that's been something that I've been trying to teach myself is actually using color theory and painting. Um, and if you find that your paintings aren't working out, look in the color theory take a moment um and one beautiful thing about um one beautiful thing about digital painting is color overlays uh which i've used a couple times in this piece um which you know got the gray scale changed the gray scale to color which you saw earlier where i t literally like everything got like kind of like a wash of color essentially um, and it kind of allows for you to have the value there, but then you also get to play around with the color. Um, you can also make a little bit more of a harmonious, like, wash, like a glaze, if that makes sense, um, over top of the whole painting with different co color overlays. Um, and the only way that I knew how to do this was to educate myself. <laughs> 
watch other people. Keep watching other people's videos. Um, use references. Ooh, references. I hate hands. Well, I'm getting better at hands. I, I, I've forced myself to get better at hands. Um, and that's another thing. I used to hide them. I was really into anime when I was little, and I would hide them in kimono sleeves. And uh, now it was like in college, I had a couple things with the human body that I didn't like to focus on. One of those was um, a male area, because nude models in college. Um, you can figure that out. <laughs> so I got to a certain point in my senior year where I was like, I am going to draw the hand today, and it's going to be glorious. And it was. Kind of. It wasn't. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I've been kind of training myself to do hands, faces, even though I'm good at faces. Um, I have work to do. Everyone has work to do. Um, but you know, our goat hooves. Thanks, Drain Eye, for having goat hooves. And all of a sudden, I had to learn how to do a goat hoof. Whatever. <laughs> um, but yeah, each piece teaches you more about the next one. Um, and yeah, I'm kind of doing some finishing touches here. Just kind of like working with values. Oh, gotta add fire. Always gotta add fire. Um, but yeah, she does look pretty though. A little color dodge. I kind of wanted to make sure the lighting at this point was directly on her, um, which I think I kind of achieved. But yeah, anyway, if you really, thank you for watching. Um, and if you would like more videos, please subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Okay, bye.